breaking news out of the NBA world, and that, of course, the first coaching domino fallen. It is Ime Doka. He is going to be the next head coach of the Boston Celtics. It's actually GM Brad Stevens' second major move in the last few days. He has been busy. He, of course, traded to Kimball Walker to the Thunder just five days ago. So if you're trying to get to know Ime Doka a little bit, well, he becomes the Celtics head coach after a long career as a player and coach in the NBA. Played seven seasons in the NBA. Played for the Lakers, Knicks, Trailblazers, and Spurs. He's also been an assistant in the league since 2012. First with Greg Popovich's staff down in San Antonio. And then a couple of stints with the Sixers and the Nets. And, of course, the culture and Twitter today. Also noting he is married to Nia Long, which <laughs> probably makes him the most cool of all. Our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, joining us now with more Woj. Apart from being married to Nia Long, what ultimately led the Celtics to hire Yudoka? Uh, Brad Stevens in this process, I think he really saw Ime Yudoka separate himself pretty quickly from what was a very good field. The kind of leader he wanted, certainly uh, his pedigree in San Antonio, Philly, and Brooklyn. Having coached a lot of elite players in the league, uh, reputation for being able to build relationships with them, hold them accountable, and just tac uh, uh, tactically a very sound coach. And I think for Brad Stevens, this was an important hire for him. It is not easy to come in as a head coach when the guy you're replacing is now your boss. And I think this is a partnership that Brad Stevens and Ime Adoka really believe can work. And the fact that he had coached several Celtics uh, and the Team USA World Cup team as an assistant with Greg Popovich, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, uh, Jason Tatum, all gave rave reviews about Ime Adoka. It's like getting a little FaceTime before the interview. It always helps, right? Uh, six head coaches now remain. The openings rather woes. So which one should we keep an eye on next? El Portland is moving uh, down the tracks on their hire. You know, they've got Chauncey Billups, Mike D'Antoni in here in the next day or two with their second interviews for that job. Becky Hammond, uh, Spurs assistant, had her second interview on Monday. And I think among all of those jobs that we see listed there, I think Portland is the furthest along. And so I think out of that group, I think Chauncey Billups, Mike D'Antoni certainly are very formidable in that field. Uh, and so I think they'll start to whittle that down and come to a decision sooner than later. And Adrian Wojnarowski will be standing by with the latest as soon as they do. Thanks for joining us, Woj. Thanks, Al. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.